Okay, so now I'm going to try the robot arm using a, a closed loop control system. Uh, this time I've got the robot arm connected up to two Polo Lu JRK Juniors connected back to back with the receive and transmit lines connected uh, crossed over, the USB connected to a PC, and the PC running uh, this modeling software here to uh, continuously communicate the arm's position, uh, read and send commands to different positions. Checking the current robot position here, you can see just past the six and a half inch mark, I'll send it off to a new location and then return it to the original position using the built-in potentiometer uh, feedback and you can see here that it has returned to almost exactly the, the same position. Checking the um, target and uh, actual positions here. It's requested a position of um, 17, 13, and it has actually arrived at that position uh, read using the 12-bit position. Now I'll send it off to an another location. Uh, this time I'll add a bit of extra load So now running uh, four kilos, return it to the original position. If you can hear that, it sounds like it's struggling a bit. Uh, I think the motors might be just about at the limit of their uh, ratings. You can see here it sagged a couple of millimeters, but I think that's just due to the flex in the robot position. Now sending it back down again, I'll check the voltage here. You can see that it's drawing about two amps um, which again I think is probably about the limit of the of the control system. Um, and again, the target position and the destination position there are within a couple of levels, uh, which I guess translates to uh, sub millimeter accuracy. So this kind of setup here manages to use two linear actuators to generate uh, four kilos of lift easily at approximately half a meter. So that's a, a quite a substantial uh, torque it, it generates while maintaining pretty reasonable accuracy. Yeah, almost, so it's just sagged, just a couple of millimetres.